Hi dear students, welcome to Geeta's classes. Today we are going to see uh, the topic vector differentiation. Uh, and I am going to explain in this exam point of view only because uh, we can complete the topics uh, quickly. Okay. So now let us see scalar point function and vector point function. So scalar point function means if you consider any region, if you consider any region, uh, for every point if you assign one scalar value for every point, then that function is said to be scalar point function. So in the same way, if you consider any space, uh, any point in the space, every point is assigned a vector point function, then the, the defined function is said to be vector point function. And uh, for example, scalar point functions, temperature at any instant of uh, time and the density of any body, you can say water pressure at each point in an ocean, they are all called a scalar point, they are all examples of scalar point functions. And generally we write it as phi of x, y, z. Okay, that is denoted by phi of x, y, z. Generally we write phi of x, y, z or psi of x, comma, y for two dimension. Okay, a phi of x, comma, y also you can write. And vector point function means, uh, for example, uh, you can say velocity of a moving fluid at any instant of time and gravitational uh, intensity. You can say gravitational intensity of force, all those things are uh, vector point functions. And uh, uh, generally we denote it by F bar, okay. This bar is denoted by, denoted uh, for notation for vector point function. And generally we write it as F1i plus F2j plus F3k, okay. Next we are going to see one important operator, it is vector differential operator, you can say or vector operator del. It is denoted by this symbol del. So del means i into dou by dou x. This you have to remember throughout this unit. So del is i into dou by dou x plus j into dou by dou y plus k into dou by dou z. Okay. And next, this is just an operator. This can be applied on a scalar point function or you can apply on a vector point function also. So depending on which function you are going to apply, the names will vary. Okay. So first let us apply it on a scalar point function. So if it is applied on a scalar point function, it is called gradient. So phi of x comma y comma z is a scalar point function. If it is, if del is applied, then what will you get? I into dou phi by dou x plus j into dou phi by dou uh, y plus k into dou phi by dou z is known as gradient of phi and is denoted by grade phi or del phi. So what do you, what is our del phi? Please remember this throughout this unit. So i into dou phi by dou x plus j into dou phi by dou y plus k into dou phi by dou z. Okay. This you have to, by heart you have to remember. Now let us uh, note this. See, uh, we are applying del. What is del? i into dou by dou x plus this is an operator i into dou by dou x plus j into dou by dou y plus k into dou by dou z. If it is applied on a scalar point function, what is the resultant you, value you got? You got a scalar, vector point function. So when del is applied on a scalar point function, the result will be a vector point function. First point. Next is, what is the geometrical meaning of this grade 5? What will you get if you apply this uh, grade, uh, del on a scalar point function? So, phi of x comma y comma z is equal to c is a scalar point function. When del is applied on this, what will you get geometrically? It will give you a vector normal to the surface. Suppose if you have a surface like this, uh, at a particular point, the vector normal to this point, that only you will be getting. A vector normal to the surface and has a magnitude equal to the rate of change of phi along this normal, okay, along this which direction, along this direction, you will be getting the rate of change of phi. And this del phi will give you the maximum rate of change of phi. This will be useful in your next topic that is directional derivative, okay, that we are going to see in the next class, right. Now, let us do some problems in uh, gradient del okay so find the gradient of x squared plus uh, y squared into z 
So what is this? It is a scalar coin function. So let us take phi is equal to x squared plus y squared z. Okay. So what is uh, what is asked? Gradient of phi. That is denoted by del phi. Del phi means what? I into dou phi by dou x plus j into dou phi by dou y plus k into dou phi by dou z. Okay. So if you apply i into dou by dou x of uh, this one x squared plus y z x squared plus what is our phi x squared plus y z if you differentiate this partially with respect to x what will you be getting 2x right so 2x plus j into you differentiate this function partially with respect to y so the first is only x squared so it will become 0 and 2y into z plus k into dou phi by dou z. So first term will become 0 and y squared. With respect to z you are differentiating you will be uh, all the other variables are to be treated as constant. Okay. So this is 2x into i plus 2yz into j plus y squared into k. This is our del phi. This is our gradient of phi. That is the answer. Uh, next one more question we will see. Find the unit vector normal to the surface x, y cube, z squared is equal to 4 at the point minus 1 comma minus 1 comma 2. You know vector normal to the surface is what? If you want to find out the normal to the surface, normal vector to the surface, we know that the gradient will give you the vector normal to the surface, right? So, after finding del phi, you are asked to find out unit vector normal to the surface. So, first let us find out the vector normal to the surface. So, what is given? Phi is equal to x, y cube, z squared minus 4. Phi of x, y, z is equal to c. Uh, so, a vector normal to the surface. First, let us find out the vector, a vector normal to the surface. is given by we know that del phi will give you the vector normal to the surface okay so i into dou phi by dou x so dou phi by dou x means you differentiate this partially with respect to x what will you get y cube z squared right plus next is with respect to y so 3x y squared into z squared into j plus k into what you have to differentiate this partially with respect to z. So, 2z into x, y cube into k. Okay. So, this is our vector normal to the surface. Now, what is asked at the point minus 1 comma minus 1 comma 2. So, in this wherever you have x replace it by minus 1. Wherever you get y replace it by minus 1. And wherever you get z replace it by 2. That will give you at the point minus 1 comma minus 1 comma 2. So del phi at the point minus 1 comma minus 1 comma 2. That means this is our x, y and z. This is our y and z values. Okay. So when you substitute you will be getting uh, minus 4i. You substitute and simplify minus 4i minus 12j plus 4k. So, substitute x equal to minus 1, y is equal to minus 1. For example, if you get a y cube, y cube is what? Minus 1. Okay. So, minus 1 into z squared is what? 4. So, that's why minus 4i. Right. Uh, now, unit normal. So, what is our del phi we got? Del phi is equal to minus 4i minus 12j plus 4k. This is our vector normal to the surface. So, if you want to find out unit vector normal to the surface or unit normal we can say therefore unit normal is equal to del phi by modulus of del phi. Okay. You know how to find out this modulus. So, minus 4i minus 12j 
plus 4k divided by root of minus 4 the whole square plus minus 12 the whole square plus 4 square. Okay, so we can take uh, minus 4 outside. And I plus 3J minus K, right? Divided by root of, if you simplify, you will be getting root of 176, okay? So, this 176 can be written as 11 into 16. So, when you take 16 outside, it will become 4, root uh, uh, 4. So, that 4 and this 4 will get cancelled. You will be getting minus 1 by 11. Minus 1 by root 11 into I plus 3J minus K. So, this is the unit vector normal to the surface. Okay. Hope this will be useful for you. And in the next class, I uh, will discuss about the directional derivative and angle between the surfaces. Thank you for watching.